Hi guys, so this is part two in the video of where to begin with Pixify. If you have not watched part one yet, I definitely suggest that you do that because it goes over this document, where to begin with Pixify, and I'm basically just going through and showing you all the information in this document. So in part one, we talked about page one, um, the email sync settings and um, the settings under application and everything. Now we're moving on to page two, which is email templates and a little bit about contract templates, okay? So when you get into your Pixify, you have access to all your modules over here on the left hand side. Under templates, uh, this is where you basically will set up things that you want to correspond with your clients with. Um, and under this, you can go to email templates, okay? Under email templates, there, if you don't already have this up, there will be a little button right here that says show wizard. And it actually already has some templates that you can are already use that people have already created. So it makes it really easy if you're just starting with Pixify and uh, for you to just go in here and pick one of these and actually go in and actually edit the, the way you want it to read to your clients. So when you pick one of these templates, you just press finish with selections and it will just populate it down here for you. And you can actually just press on it and then go in and edit it however you want. If you don't want to do that, if you already have responses that you have saved and you just want to copy it into Pixify, you just press create new response and then it will populate under here for you to go ahead and edit however you need. There's a few things that you need to know about email templates. Now, each template has an, a, a type. Now, this type is very, very important for you to know uh, because you can only access your email template under the type that it is under. So for instance, if you want to send out some sort of info regarding their contract, then it would only be under the contract area. If you want to send out like a reminder regarding their session um, and it's under the event, you can only access under the event. So I'll give you uh, an example. For instance, this portrait session reminder, it's under, it's an event type, okay? Um, if you go into the client, Okay, so say I want to go ahead and email this client under contact, I can press compose and under the responses, it only shows me this email template right here. Okay, it doesn't show me the email template I'm looking for. So if you want to send an email template um, regarding the event, meaning regarding her shoot, um, then you want to create an event and you can do that by pressing add and then you click on the event. Okay, and you press contact compose okay and now you can see that template the portrait session reminder template so you just have to be really careful um, on putting your templates under the type uh, based on the workflow of however you want to correspond with your clients okay okay so moving on to contract templates So under contracts, it kind of almost works the same way as email templates. Okay, You have a wizard where it has some contracts that are already kind of pre-filled out or there for you to use. So that way, if you don't have a contract, this is very, very helpful. If you do already have a contract, you're welcome to create a new contract and then just copy it into um, a blank contract template. Okay. So the first thing they want you to know about contracts is that you want to go in and create a signature for yourself. This is the part where um, at the bottom of the contract, it's going to ask the client's signature, but right above that, it's going to show your signature. So if you want to go ahead and create that, you want to go to okay, the contracts area, just go to this, this settings area right here, and this is where it will show your signature. You can clear it and then do a new signature however you want. Okay. These other areas are also something you might want to look into, like for instance, where do you want your logo to be? Do you want it to be a cross or however? Um, oh, and this is a great one where um, after they sign the contract, maybe you want to send them some sort of automatic response saying that you got their contract. This actually will be very helpful for me. I don't even have that set up yet. So it's a good thing I did this video. Okay. 
<clears throat> so for contracts, there are several different things under contracts that we need to talk about. I think I'm going to save this for the next video. So tune into video number three, and I'll start here, um, and then go all the way down to um, events. Okay. All right. Thank you for tuning in. I will talk to you next time. Bye.